Hi, welcome to your tutorial for sewing the shorts that you just cut out. When you get through cutting it out, there should be two pieces like this. Okay? You cut the fabric, remember it was on the fold, and it looked like this when you got through. That's the seam you didn't cut. That's the seam you did not cut, exactly. Good job. So you have it open like this. Okay. You see the folded piece right through the middle. So you have two pieces, one is your front and one is your back. Okay. Each pattern, had, each piece of fabric has the right side, which you see here, and the wrong side. Okay. You're going to take each piece and fold it with the right sides together. And you do the same here, right here. Do that on each pair of pants. Okay. Now I'm going to pin it just to resemble the sewing down your straight line, and you have a 5 8 inch margin to sew in. Okay. Um, on your sewing machine, there should be a little guide, but um, gives you plenty of room to sew. So this is where you would sew straight down here on both pieces. Okay. Once you've accomplished that, you're going to turn the pieces with the right side out so you have a leg hole make sure you got a hole there and then there's your seam that you just did on each piece okay now we're going to make them um, go together so you're going to lay one piece down like that and the other piece down, and you're going to match these two seams. Here's your inner leg seams, is what these are. You're going to match those. Okay, you've got to match with right sides together. And of course, you're going to be sewing on the inside where the wrong sides are. All right, you're going to pin it. Once again, you have a 5 8 inch seam allowance. It's not a big deal, but um, it's about um, the width of your pinky finger. That would be about where your seam would go, about right in there. It gives you a good gauge. and Just go slow and try to keep it steady. Okay. And this is going to be your stride seam is what this is called. If you think about it, it runs from your back all the way through the bottom between your legs and all the way up the front. Okay, when you go through here and sew, this is your curve. You're just going to go really slow so you make that curve. I'm actually pinning where you would sew, and then I'll show it to you one more time. And as you can see, it won't lay flat when you're trying to sew, so you kind of keep have to keep feeding it through there. Just real, and this is the that's the hardest seam you're going to make throughout the whole pair of pants. Okay, so you do your pins like that. Okay, you're going to sew making sure your right sides are on the inside. You're going to sew, starting at the back or the front, doesn't matter, start here, sew all the way through the middle and all the way up to the other side. Okay, now what I'm going to do is turn the pins around to, for you to envision that I've sewn this. That would be my seam. Okay, and once you get through sewing it, 
you usually have to clip the curves. And the reason is so that that fabric will give a little bit. And you don't want to um, clip through your seam. So remember the pins are my seam. I'm going to show you how to clip that. Okay, so I've gotten through sewing it. And you actually already have the two, um, well three, actually three, three times to sew, you have your pair of shorts. Okay. You've just sewn your shorts. Okay. So you've sewn right through here. it a little bit better so it will come apart. Hmm, that pin doesn't work. <laughs> Let's try another one. Okay. So I told you you wanted to clip your curves. Do you see how that fabric curves up right there? Okay. And the pins are my seam. I'm just going to clip it to the stitching. Not through the stitching, but just kind of up to the stitching. Just two or three times. And you see what it does. It allows that fabric to move. Okay, and where is that cut? That cut is on the curve where she stitched here. Kind of in the crotch area? Yes. Where it curves? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do both sides so it lays <clears> down <throat> where, you, where you curve. Make sure I've got it on the right spot. Flip it over. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just a second. Does anybody have any questions yet? Any questions? Dottie does. She raised her head. Any See? questions at all? She raised her head. Okay. <laughs> no questions there. Okay, we actually have a pair of shorts, and now comes the fun part where you get to finish them up. This is the top. Once again, you're still working on the wrong side of the fabric. Now, you can, um, with your iron, press that open and make it lay down flat which is the best thing to do. So I'm going to pin mine open. If you skip that step, which a lot of um, seamstresses tend to do, um, you get bulky fabric and then you have trouble with your elastic. Now this is where I would serge it, but you don't have a serger, so you want to just get your iron and just iron it open flat down. Okay, because when you get ready to um, thread your elastic through, you'll run into a hole if you don't. you run into a, a block. Okay, so you're going to iron it open just this much on both sides. So we know next you're going to want a serger once you start sewing because that gives it the finished look. And I can show you a way to do it on your machine after you conquer this. Now make sure you don't pin it together just like I just did. But there is a, it's called a roll edge that you can um, make it look a little more finished. But right now we're just getting you going. Okay, you've sewn this, you've uh, ironed this flat on both sides. Now you want to turn down the top just a touch, just a, like, just a little bit, and iron it down also. Okay, so it's going to give you a finished look. All right, now this is the part that you really need to measure with. After you've ironed it all the way across the top, you're going to fold it down. Um, and I'm going to say a good probably half an inch. Or look at your elastic and see what, how, what size elastic you have. And make sure it's a little bit bigger than that. Um, or check the pants. Anyway, you're going to fold it down like that so you can see the right side on the wrong side. And see where you ironed it down right here you have a clean edge. okay? So you're going to pin it and be careful that this is what I want you to measure here all the way around. Now you know mom, I tend to eyeball it, but I think for you to get a good feel of it, you would feel better about it if you do actually measure it so that it will be even and straight. okay? See how it should look finished, okay? And you're gonna sew right here on the edge, being sure that you catch that part that you ironed under, okay? So all the way around, except for a little opening that you're gonna leave to put the elastic in. 
So you're going to sew all the way around and stop just before your hole. Okay? Now you're going to go to the bottom of the pants, do the same thing. You're going to iron this open. You're basically repeating what you did at the top for both legs. Iron it open. Turn under just a little bit and iron it. Now I've got a pin in the way, so I'm going to back that pin up just a little bit. Okay, so you're going to iron it under just a little bit and then turn it up. And this will be your hem. Once again, you just want to go slow here and make sure it's straight because um, that hem is going to show on the outside of your fabric. All right, and you will have to do this to both legs. Then you want to press your seam really good. And you done this and you put your elastic through, feed it through, um, all the way through. You want to measure Haley's waist and then add um, about a quarter of an inch to it or I can give you some standard measurements that you would use. And once you get through, you know how to pull the elastic all the way through. So when you get the elastic through here, you actually sew it, then cut it off, then let the elastic go back up in, in the shorts and then finish your seam here and you will have completed your first pair of shorts all on your own following my tutorial. Love you. Hope it goes well. Bye. Mm -hmm.